that's what I hope to gain from this challenge is up just to be looking snatched to be looking good have my mind right have my body right hmm you would now tuned in with trophy go trophy we can lie crack toes be open go trophy only with trophy hey y'all welcome back to another video my name is trophy if you're new to the channel if you read by the title you know we are doing the 75 soft challenge i'm super duper excited today is day one so i'm just coming to first tell y'all exactly what the challenge is and what we're going to be doing with this video series i want to document my whole process so we're going to start by taking my beginning weight, taking my measurements and all that stuff so you guys can see the transformation from start to finish. So before we even start, if you don't know what the 75 soft challenge is, it is a 75 day challenge. That's why they call it 75 soft. It's a 75 day challenge where you're supposed to transform your body and your mental as well. So the original challenge was the 75 hard challenge and it was created by Andy Frisella and he's the CEO of a supplement company. He created the challenge in 2019 and it's supposed to be like really tough. He didn't think that anybody would be able to finish it. Plenty of people have finished it by now, but it is a very strict and very rigorous. So for the 75 heart, the rules are more strict than what I'm doing because I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. So I'm doing a 75 soft challenge. We're gonna keep it soft over here, okay? So the 75 hard challenge, you can't have no alcohol, no cheap meals you can't have any days off and you have to do two 45 minute um workouts one well one has to at least be outdoor they could both be outdoor but you have to have at least one outdoors so two 45 minute um workouts you have to take a progress prick you have to take a progress pic every day of your body and then you have to follow a diet they didn't put like a specific diet that you have to follow but you just had to make sure it was a diet that would uh improve your physical and something that you would just stick to a structured plan and then um and also you have to drink a gallon of water a day and read 10 pages of a non-fiction book so that's the 75 hard challenge the 75 soft challenge is a little more lenient which is which is what we're doing okay 75 soft challenge was created by a tiktoker named steven gallagher i think i'm saying it right and he made this because it's more attainable something that you can most people can actually do but you can still feel accomplished and it is still a challenge it's just not as crazy as the 75 hard although i do want to try 75 hard uh, after i do the 75 soft but right now i live in houston and it is very hot so doing outdoor workouts that's just not an option not an option and plus i want to do 75 soft first so i can work my way up so the rules for the 75 soft challenge is you have to also work out 45 minutes a day but only one workout it can be indoors or outdoors which is really good especially for people that don't have time to do two workouts a day and then you have to um oh you do get you do get one you do get one active rest day a week and they say that active rest day is like walking or doing something low impact for this challenge it just says to eat well and only drink alcohol on special occasions so still you're not drinking alcohol as much the other one you couldn't drink it at all but this one you can drink on special occasions but i'm gonna just try to stay away from the alcohol as much as possible for the 75 soft you drink three liters of water a day so it's not the gallon it's only three liters of water and then also read 10 pages of any book it doesn't have to be non-fiction it could be fiction or non-fiction but they both you have to have to read the books in hand not an audio book and y'all know i love my audio books but i did get a book to read for the 75 soft it just says to eat well so for what the things that i'm going to be doing for my diet and how i'm going to be following it is um, i'm just going to cut out a lot of stuff that i know is just not good for me so i'm not going to eat bread i'm not going to eat pasta i'm not going to eat um starbucks like all those sugary drinks no ice cream i'm gonna try to stay away from candy i lately i've been having such a sweet tooth y'all and y'all know sugar 
that just sits sits it on you i'm only going to drink green tea and water so my green tea is going to be my source of caffeine and i'm gonna try to implement more fruits and vegetables in my diet and that's about it so that's pretty much the challenge you guys i'm going to be documenting my process every day and i want you guys to join in with me even if you don't start on the same day as me you can definitely start look up on look on tiktok they have a ton of people doing this challenge and it's very doable especially the 75 soft challenge um like i said today is day one today is august 15th and it's day one i want to put up my little post-it notes so i can take them down uh with each day so far this is how much water i've had i'm doing i'm just gonna i got a lot of these gallons and i'm just gonna try to drink a gallon a day although for the soft challenge you only have to th drink three liters of water a day. I'm gonna try to drink a gallon a day because I used to drink a gallon a day and it's not that bad. And this is how much I've had so far. So now we're just gonna take my measurements and my before weight and we are going to, um, I guess, get some video of what I look like before. I think this is gonna be my progress pick um, outfit. So for each progress pick, I'm gonna take, I'm just gonna like wear this. I'm not gonna do progress picks every day, but maybe weekly or something because i just think every day i don't even got enough data in my phone for that like for real, for real. i need to clear out my phone so let's go ahead and check our weight take these pics and put up the post-it note Okay, so we're gonna do some before shots and measurements. Let me just be quiet. So, oh, I want this to show so I can like see the difference with the tummy. Oh, I need to put my hair up. Okay. Bust. It ain't gonna change. It ain't gonna grow. It might shrink. Alright, so we like right here. This is my bust measurement. I was always told to measure at the smallest part of your waist. So, right here. So waist is a little over 33, like right there. I say 33 and a half, maybe 33 and a half. We're gonna do it at the belly button too, which is like my biggest part. 35, 35. So obviously I want to lose this. And I want to lose my, I want to tone up my arms and I want the back fat. Although it's not that bad, it's not as bad as it was before. 41, 41 on the butt. And then arm. <laughs> Bicep. I hope I'm doing these measurements right. Bicep is a little over 13 right there and that's all the measurements i care about so time to step on the scale okay y'all i'm about to step on the scale i guess i'll reverse the video whenever i edit this 
So this is my starting weight, 174.8. This is what I'm having for lunch, y'all. It's just salmon bites, broccoli, carrots, red onions, and bell peppers, and beans, and jasmine rice. This is so good, I could eat it every day, and I probably will. Some variation of this. This is kind of the type of meals I'm gonna stick to for lunch and dinner. And then for breakfast, just oatmeal or oatmeal eggs or oatmeal eggs and sausage. I'm not counting calories or anything like that. That's what I think is great with this challenge. You don't have to do all that. So my thing is I just wanna eat boring, which I consider it, that's not really boring, but in my head, boring is eating the same thing every day. The same good thing every single day because I just it helps me to stay consistent so that's kind of like what I'm gonna be doing my goals are obviously to lose my belly and my arm and then for as far as like mental goals is just to finish something I know that if I do 75 days of this like I'm gonna be so proud of myself I'm gonna feel so accomplished and I know my body's gonna show it and then reading every day I, I read books a lot but I never read them in person so that's also a great challenge for me because I always just listen to audio books but actually reading it on paper is a difference so that's what I hope to gain from this challenge just, uh, just to be looking snatched to be looking good have my mind right have my body right hmm this is the book that I'm going to be reading. It's The Silent Patient. I love these type of books like thrillers. And I actually already bought this book on Audible, but then I saw it at Walmart and I was like, I do need to read something physical. So I'll probably just return the one on Audible and just read this one. So 10 pages a day. I'll probably read more. Cause like when I start reading these type of books, I just keep going and going and going. So I'm about to officially do my first workout. I think we're gonna go with my girl, Grow With Joe. I love Grow With Joe workouts. They're easy for at home. I'll probably try to do some walks when I can, but most of the time I'm be doing at home workouts. Um, I'm gonna do it on my tablet because the boys are watching TV. You see the sweat? You see the sweat? I did three miles. All right, so I'm about to do that and then update. It is 416 and this is how much water I have left. About to eat for a little snack y'all okay where's the front i've been letting it thaw out for a little bit because i like my smoothie bowls to be a little watery this is the smoothie bowl from h-e-b and it's a side bowl and it has granola inside of it it already comes with a spoon attached i don't need a spoon okay this is what the top looks like so it's granola oh I gotta let it thaw some more, I guess. I can taste the banana. Wait, dinosaur I'm gonna thaw it a little bit Where's more. Where's dinosaur box? Dinosaur box. Where's dinosaur box? I don't know. Okay, y'all, so it's 9.17 and I just finished my water about five minutes ago. So I'm trying to do it earlier. Like I want to be done with my water by like, let's say eight. Cause I know I'm be peeing. I've been peeing all day long, like a lot. So I'm proud of myself though. And I am about to read my book. I know I hear Terrell in there. This boy takes forever to go to sleep. Anyway, I'm about to read this book, The Silent Patient, my 10 pages. And I'll be done with the challenge for today. I could take down my little sticky notes. Okay, y'all, this is what I plan on eating for breakfast most days. I have oatmeal and I add honey and I add peanut butter, I already added it. And then I usually put a couple eggs in there and yes, I eat it all together in the same bowl. And I have a couple leftover sausages. This is what my bowl looks like when I put everything together. A few sausages, eggs, and oatmeal. Some days I just eat oatmeal, some days just oatmeal and eggs. Okay, y'all. Okay, I'm done with the first workout. Now I'm about to do a butt workout. 
that one was 25 minutes and the butt work is like 20 minutes so it equals 45 minutes i am tired i am sweaty but we power on So the workouts that I did today were really good, especially that butt workout. That lady, her name is Jane Kate. I'm gonna also be doing her workouts during this challenge because her butt workouts are just super, they just make, you can just feel it. You can just feel the effectiveness of it. So um, it's like three something and I haven't even eaten other than breakfast. I have been munching on these. Why are they just in my hand? I have been munching on these though. These are the, gumdrop grapes they're so good i'm buying these grapes from now they're little and delicious but i'm about to make myself a snack which is cucumber and then i'm gonna be snacking on that while i'm making my meal prep because that's why i haven't eaten because i ran out of my meal prep so i gotta cook it and i don't like that i don't like that at all so i'm gonna try to cook as much as possible so i don't have to worry about it for a couple days peel the cucumbers peel the cucumbers and then i added some salt and pepper i usually add this stuff but i probably shouldn't so i didn't add this stuff because i'm trying to think healthy so that's enough and then i add a drizzle of this uh ranch any type of ranch so it's literally just a, little, a drizzle that's enough that's like one tablespoon huh that's like one ain't it ain't it and then i just mix it all together that's what it looks like all mixed together and then we're just gonna snack on this while i make the other food because your girl's hungry right now So this is my little veggie combo that I like. It's broccoli, carrots, red onions, and whatever color bell pepper I feel like. I did the red bell peppers today. I am going to season it up with salt, pepper, and the Holy Grail. The Trader Joe's 21 Seasoning Salute. This is so good for your, oh, there we go. This is so good for vegetables. So I'm just gonna season that up and toss it in some olive oil. This is what it looks like before I put it in the oven. This is what the veggies look like when they're done. So I'm just gonna add them all to a little bowl. Okay, this is what all of my bowls will look like. And the beans that I'm using are these Bush's Sidekicks, the Simmer Caribbean. They have like a little kick to them, but they're so good, so, so good. Hey y'all, so I'm about to wind it down. I'm about to drink this. Well, I've been drinking this. This is what I'm gonna be drinking every night and every morning. Um, like before I go to sleep and on a empty stomach in the morning. So I'm gonna drink half of this. I'm like almost halfway through. I'm gonna drink half of my kombucha and then half in the morning. So yeah. Hey y'all, so it's day three and I just finished doing the exact same workouts that I did yesterday. They were so good, but I will not be doing those workouts again tomorrow because my butt hurts so much. Jane Kate, that's the place to go if you want like booty, thighs, waist. I feel like her stuff is going to help me with my waist and my back because you're just like doing all type of butt workouts on the floor. Y'all saw what I did yesterday. So I did those same two today and... I just wanted to come and show y'all my sweat. It's probably not a lot though, cause I don't sweat that much. I feel like I sweat more, this time I sweated more when I was doing the um, Grow With Joe workouts, but see, it's not even that much. I thought it would be dripping. It ain't dripping. I did feel a little tired before I started working out, but I feel a little boost of energy 
but I'm gonna take a shower and then eat some lunch one uh, what I made yesterday and I'll be back hey y'all it is day five of the 75 soft challenge I didn't film yesterday y'all I was in a mood See, that's my problem. I need to stop looking at the scale. I looked at the scale yesterday and I was 177. I know that the weight fluctuates, but I just need to, like, it messes with my mind. I'm like, I've been doing all this work and now I'm saying I'm 177. When I first weighed myself, I was 174. How? How, Sway? But I, I breathed and I know that I just need to stop looking. And I know it's not just about the weight on the scale. It's about the fat loss. And I need to stay focused on it. So we're about to work out. I did this workout last night. I didn't finish my challenge until like 10 because I did my workout super late. I didn't finish drinking my water till like 10, but I definitely got it done. So I did this workout yesterday. It was a Grow With Joe workout. It was about an hour and it was so good. So I'm gonna do that again today. So. Okay, y'all, I just finished the workout. It is 12.30, so today I'm doing intermittent fasting. I just thought of it this morning. I was like, I'm gonna wait a little while. I'm not gonna do it every day, but you know, maybe a couple times out of the week, I'll wait to around 12 or one to eat my first meal. I'm probably gonna eat some oatmeal and a piece of chicken sausage that Terrell really didn't want. Um, so that's gonna be my breakfast. And first I'm gonna take a shower though, cause I can't, I cannot function at the workout take without taking a shower do you sweat oh. you can see do you sweat i don't know y'all i am convinced <laughs> this is my theory i'm convinced they grow with joe like in between takes she sprays herself with water because <laughs> there's no way she sweats that much I'm, I'm like am i not doing it right the girl be drenched in sweat but I guess different people have different sweat levels. But uh, I always, every time I think, of, every time I watch your videos, I'm like, who is the secret sweat sprayer? This is where we are at. I like to tear this off so I can see, like, when I get in the middle, I want to see exactly where I'm at. But this is where we're at, uh, 12:30. Hey y'all, it's day six. We're so close. It's almost a week in. It doesn't even feel like we're. I've been doing this. I talk about weird, but you guys are doing it with me too on Instagram. I posted. The real and a lot of you guys said you would join in. So yeah, we on day six. Well, I don't know if y'all on the same day as me, but okay. Anyway, it's day six and I'm about to do a workout. I do it in the boys' room because they have carpet and they have a lot more space than me. So I'm about to work out in their room, get this workout out of the way. I feel like I'm doing 75 medium because I'm doing some components of 75 hard and 75 soft. The only thing is different okay so i'm doing a gallon of water a day i'm not drinking i don't plan on drinking any alcohol but i don't know i might i might but i don't plan on drinking any alcohol at all and then what else am i doing i'm um i i want to work out every single day like the 75 hard but the 75 hard you do two workouts a day so i feel like i'm doing like the 75 medium okay y'all so i made i made the spaghetti for the boys and it's a lot left over i'm about to make them this for lunch today and I'm gonna make myself some too. When I made it for them, I didn't uh, make none for myself. I'm gonna put mine inside of this little, um, I'm gonna put mine inside of this little container so it can be like portion control. So yeah, even though it's not the healthiest thing, I think if I eat a smaller portion, then I'll be fine. This is my bowl, add a little bit of Parmesan cheese. It's not too bad, I don't think. Look, it's under the little mark, whatever that means. <laughs> Today I really don't feel like doing a workout video, so I'm just gonna walk for 45 minutes. Let's go. Okay, I'm done and 
this is what I did exactly 45 minutes because somebody keeps getting out the bed. Okay, y'all. Happy day eight. I'm about to attempt to make a smoothie bowl. So I'm going to use this acai berry smoothie blendable stuff from HEB and a little bit of this. I was going to use milk, but I don't want to. So I'm going to use juice. So we're going to make the smoothie first and then add the toppings. I'm trying to add more fruits to my diet. I actually bought a lot of fruits too, so yeah, I'm trying to do it. Y'all know I don't really like fruit, but I'm trying to make myself like it. I want it to be thick, so that's a splash. That is a splash. Okay, maybe not enough juice. I think it's this machine. It never really worked well for me. Mmm, it tastes delicious. <laughs> it's because I use this. It's I don't know how this gonna be. It's I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Okay, so I got strawberries. I'm gonna add strawberries, um, pineapples, and blueberries. So I'm gonna chop up the pineapples a little bit more. You gotta eat some food first. Don't eat well, you need you need to eat. <laughs> eat pizza. A pizza? Yeah, pizza. Yeah, pizza. I feel like that's enough. Um, pineapples. I'm gonna do a couple strawberries. Yeah. Rinse them off. Pizza. 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 Want me to warm them up? Want me to warm it up for you? Pizza time to bell. Want me to make it hot for you? Yeah. I just rinsed off the blueberries. So we're going to start with this because y'all know I need baby steps. Okay. It's, it's a little watery. Okay, I'm just gonna add the blueberries. I'm gonna try to make it look pretty. <laughs> I wish I would have made it a little thicker. I added too much in the last. It tastes like lemonade. <laughs> so maybe I should use milk next time or water. Do people use water? Okay, so adding the pineapples. And look y'all, I'm fancy. I got some granola to add to it. This is the Kind Bar Granola Honey and Oats. It's a good source of fiber. Oh, I should have made like a little line for the granola. I want it to look pretty. Oh, that's some big old granola. Jeez. Okay, that's a lot. That's enough. And then finally, I got some coconut flakes. These are sweetened, so I'm gonna try to just be light with it. Mommy. <laughs> Mommy. What? I'll be brave. You were brave? Yeah. Good job, Travel. Okay. That's enough, oh, right? Okay. That's enough, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's enough, right? Okay. Okay, the final, final step, I'm gonna add some honey. I'm trying to do it like how it is whenever I go. Alright. Ooh, it looks so good. I'm gonna let y'all know how it tastes. I look crazy today, so I just have to put it on the screen. Just another boring breakfast. <laughs> it looks so boring. I just threw my peanut butter in more, but I put peanut butter and honey. And then this is the peanut butter my dad gave me. This natural honey. It have honey in it, but it's, I still add honey. But this is good by itself, but I still like to add my own little honey. I'm probably gonna get this one from now on. This is my lunch, y'all. Same old, same old. I'm telling y'all, I'm eating boring. So this is the chi I just had a chicken yeah. with the same um, vegetable medley. Hey, y'all. We are on day nine, and I'm in the kitchen because you know this journey is all about what you put in your body. That's like the most important I've learned. So um, I'm about to make this little thing, this recipe that I got from cooking with AB. I usually use smoked sausage, but since I'm trying to be healthier, I'm using uh, this smoked chicken sausage. Cause I usually use the one like with pork and you know, just like the regular sausage, but this is obviously 
healthier it has spinach and feta inside i hope it produces the same amount of juice that a smoked sausage would but we'll see you basically just put everything together then you put it in a pan with some uh, oil and then you cook it for about eight to ten minutes and then you eat it over rice so this is gonna be my little meal prep everything and just kind of just stir it and cook it hope it turns out right okay y'all this is what it looks like i'm trying to stay far away because it keep my camera keeps steaming up but it does have the juices and i tasted the sausage and it's good it's a little tougher like when you bite it i mean because you know chicken is a different texture but it's really good still i haven't tasted it all together though so i'm not all the way sure but it's good so this is gonna be my meal prep and i'm gonna show you guys how much i could actually get out of this i'm thinking one two three four five six at least six meals just as i suspected i was able to do exactly six meals this one i've been eating on but i'm done so yeah it's late y'all it's like 10 o'clock at night but i'm about to get my workout in i did this same two workouts yesterday i'm gonna do today one is Mr. and Mrs. Muscle and it has dumbbells. I am like so sore right here and I love it. I love the feeling. I feel the burn. I'm like so sore on my sides from one of the workouts that I did and I love it. I love how I feel. So I'm definitely going to start incorporating more dumbbells and stuff. So I'm going to do these two workouts. So I'm going to do these two workouts real quick. Knock it out. I still got to read my book and I still have a little bit of water left over but... We're gonna get it done. Hey, hey. What kind of move was that? Uh. Sir, you better get out that bed. Girl, you better be in that bed. It's 11.18. Finish my workout. Finish my water. I'm about to take a quick shower. And then I'm going to read my book. Hey, guys. It's day 10. I didn't vlog today. And I probably... Did I vlog yesterday? I don't know. But I did... Um, do like a, a real slash snap not say snapchat a real slash tiktok it's just so hard to try to vlog and vlog on a regular vlog vlog on this vlog vlog on that but i think i did pretty good for the first episode like i said today's day 10 it's the end of the night i just finished eating my last meal i just had another smoothie bowl it was so good this time i made it with water i made it in the vlog the real vlog so if you want to see that it's in the real vlog i made a real vlog with water and it was much be better the other one was like too tart because it was the lemonade mixed with it but anyway i'm almost done with day 10 and i just wanted to come and reflect and in this vlog um y'all i am feeling so much better since i started eating healthy i think it's just the eating healthy and the working out like my mental is i just feel so much better like i have so much energy i used to be sluggish all the time and it's because of the food i was eating after i eat now i do not feel sleepy i don't get the itis nothing like that i've been i've been doing intermittent fasting um i've been working out every day i just i mean obviously i've been knocking off the days but it just feels so good and i i haven't been, even been drinking my green tea that's what i drink for like energy and i haven't even had to drink that um i did i did make myself i did just make myself a cup of it because i want to like edit tonight but my biggest thing is trying to get eight hours in the sleep because i want to make sure i get my full nice rest and y'all know i'll be up working and stuff so i need to work on that but other than that i feel super good about this and i feel proud of myself um i need to weigh myself i i hope it don't disappoint me this morning when i weighed myself i was 170 yesterday morning no this morning i was 171 yesterday morning i was 170 but i'm not even about to trip on the weight too much because i know that it fluctuate and it's the end of the day now 
Um, I try to weigh myself in the morning time. End of the day, I might be 174 when we start off. I'm gonna weigh myself tomorrow morning and then I'm gonna insert that. Okay, let's go. Do y'all see? 170.4. So, your girl lost four pounds. I'm not gonna do like before and after pictures until like maybe in the middle of the challenge and towards the end and we're going to uh, compare and contrast but overall I'm just happy that I'm doing this and I just know that your girl's gonna be snatched by the end of this. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of this series. If you enjoyed the series and you want to follow me along on my journey make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because I will be uh, what's the word Travel? Um, documenting. I will be documenting all of this. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love you guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.